Hey everyone, so today we're going to do something fun, something different, and something messy. Um, what I have here is some alginate and some UltraCal 30, and what we're going to do is take a mold of my hand and cast it. So it's going to be fun. Um, Smooth On does make a kit, the Life Casting Starter Kit featuring AlgaSafe. Um, this is everything you need to do what I'm doing, but uh, this is our last one, so I'm gonna be using some other things so that if anyone wants this, they can come get it. Um, it does also come with an instructional DVD, and um, what you would do with this is you would cast, or mold your hand straight into this container. Um, instead, I'm gonna be using this one, so I'm also gonna be using um, dental alginate, rather than the AlgaSafe, just because this kicks a little bit faster and I'm not trying to do this all day. So, um, that's really the only difference is that it kicks faster and that it um, tastes better if you're putting it in your mouth, which I'm not. So, the mix ratio for um, the alginate is one to one. So, and that's um, by volume, not by weight. This stuff weighs like absolutely nothing. So we're going to mix it with water. Um, and just so you know, the warmer the water that you use, the faster it's gonna set. Um, in some cases that's good, and in some cases you really don't want it to be super fast. Um, if you're doing like a, a life cast of someone's head, you really don't wanna use super warm water because it's gonna be, um, you're not gonna have a lot of time to work with it. So I'm using pretty, cool water, it's not freezing cold, but um, just to give me a little extra time. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Like I said, it's equal parts, so we're just going to kind of eyeball it and mix it up real quick. I am using a stir stick. A lot of people use their hands, but since I'm going to be putting my hand in this, um, I don't want to make it uh, too jelly already without um, being ready for it. But I do need to do this very quickly. All right, so the dental alginate, you really only have um, about three to five minutes to work with it. It's okay to have some clumps. Alginate is kind of clumpy by nature, um, but I don't want it to be too much so, so I'm gonna try to smooth it out as much as possible. All right, so now that we have this delicious goopy mixture, we're going to go ahead and pop my hand in there. And I don't want to go all the way to the bottom. So just slowly. There we go. So as you can see, it's not going to be my entire hand, which is fine, because this is just for demonstration purposes. It's not going to be a beautiful work of art. Maybe it will be, who knows. And now we just gotta wait for it to set. Side note, I would recommend having something to rest your arm on. That would be cool. <laughs> okay guys, so we're back. As you can see, I found something to rest my arm on. So that was much more comfortable. Um, it's been about three and a half minutes and now I'm going to slowly get my hand out of here, hopefully. There's a lot of like suction. So I'm just gonna try to like kind of wiggle my fingers slightly and loosen it up a bit. My palm is out of there, but it's just those fingers you wanna be really careful with because um, you don't wanna tear them. And uh, 
the alginate, once it cures, has kind of the texture of tofu. So it's flexible, but it'll break. Okay, the thumb is free. Let's work on these other fingers. All right. Just be really careful about it. Beautiful. So, if you want a little close up, here we go. There's my creepy little <laughs> hand crevice um, that we are now going to fill with UltraCal 30. So, get this out of the way. Um, the UltraCal is a little bit different than the alginate in that it's not going to be exactly equal parts, but it's one of those things that you definitely just kind of have to eyeball. So add a bit of UltraCal, add a bit of water. And um, you want it to look, they say, like a dry lake bed. So not super, um, you know, dry looking, but not super watery either. And this I am just going to mix up with my fingers. And just make sure you break up any clumps. Alginate is one of those things that you do want to try to cast it as soon as possible because it's not going to live forever. Um, this mold is not going to be able to be used tomorrow or next week. I have the next, like, I would say 30 minutes or less to work with this mold. Right. Just a bit more. Definitely make sure you break up those clumps so that they don't stay dry. I'm mixing up way more than I need, but I'm really just trying to get the right consistency going. So get these clumps out, we should be good. Side note, definitely try to wear clothes that you don't care that much about, just in case. Because I'm a pretty messy person, so I would hate to ruin a good outfit. Alright. Now that we have our UltraCal all mixed up, Go ahead and I'm going to take a little brush and brush it into 
the fingers real quick just because I don't want um, any air bubbles there. I don't want to look like I have missing tops of my fingers or anything like that. I want to make sure that that's nice and coated before I pour it. I have much wrinklier hands than I thought. I'm looking at this mold and it's wrinkle city. All right. Once I have a nice little coat of the Ultra Cal with my acid brush, we'll just pour it in the rest of the way. Definitely keep an eye out for any bubbles. I'm just using a little tongue depressor to kind of scrape away the excess because I don't want this puddle to be attached to my wrist. And then I'm just going to tap the side and encourage any of those little air bubbles to come up to the top. Now we wait and I go wash my hands. All right, so we are back. Um, it's been about 45 minutes. UltraCal 30 does mean that it takes 30 minutes to set, um, but I like to give myself a little extra time because I don't know, I don't wanna mess it up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna flip this bad boy over and there's still a little bit of moisture on the alginate. I'm just going to kind of pat it dry. You can also feel um, that it's a little bit warm still from the Ultra Cal uh, doing its thing and setting. It does get a little bit warm, but nothing to worry about. So here comes the fun and scary part. I'm going to just kind of feel around and see where my fingers are in this thing. And then I'm going to take a razor blade and just lightly cut through. I don't want to cut it like too deep because I don't want to damage our final product. But I do need to kind of just peel this alginate away. Like I said, it is kind of the texture of tofu, so it's going to be really easy to kind of break apart and um, hopefully demold. I'm just going to make a bunch of random slices and see where that takes us.
stuff's really fun to cut through. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see a finger. And another. I'm going to be really careful around these because I don't want these fingers to break off. Now that I've got those unearthed a little bit, it should be a little bit easier to get into the hand and wrist part. Just peel this away. Very nice. So the Ultra Cal did capture a lot of detail, which I'm super happy about. Just always remember to be rough with your alginate and gentle with your actual casting. I think I can just wiggle out this piece. Beautiful. Now, just gotta get these pieces out from between these fingers, really gently. And there we go. Here's my creepy, tiny little hand. Just toss these. I'll set them aside. So now it can be a fun little, I don't know, maybe you can put your phone in it. I don't know. Let's get a close up so you can see all the little details. There are some little bitty spots here um, where we've got some little like nubs, but those can easily be taken away. And once we kind of clean this thing, it's going to be a lot nicer. So there we go. That is our fun little finished product. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, if you have any videos you'd like to see, please comment um, and let us know, and then we'll do it next week. So, see you later.